Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's reading is, are you on the right path? So we have two groups today to choose from. Uh, this is group one, this is group two. Group one is this card. Group two is this card. Okay, don't overthink it. Um, the question is as simple as this. Are you on the right path? And then we're going to channel any messages that come through. Okay, so I will see you in your group. Hello, group one. Welcome to your reading. So first of all, you have chosen this seven of pentacles, actually. Um, so it feels like you are waiting for something. The energy I'm getting is you're waiting for something. You're waiting for a break. A breakthrough, a break free, um, a break free, a break away from something as well. You're waiting for an opportunity um, because the ocean, the tide is, the wave is, you know, comes and goes. And I just feel, and that with this plane aircraft, I feel you want to go somewhere far and you're waiting for the wind to come. Are you on the right path? One card telling telling me, thank you, universe. Are you on the right path? Yeah, disconnect and boredom. I would say not yet. I would say you are trying to figure out things. I would say that it's the same energy because these two people kiki and his uh, and her friend are showing their back and this person is turning his back so it feels like right now is the time for you to turn your back on the reality to go into your own own little sanctuary to figure out some solution to figure out some truth this is actually a su suggestion card i feel if you feel life is somehow boring life is somehow um flat or you just feel simply disconnected i feel you need to go to your own little space go into that own little space to clear your mind and to connect with yourself in order for you to figure out things i'm strongly getting this group you're trying to figure out a lot of answers you're trying to figure out a lot of truth about your own life about your direction especially it feels like you're waiting there you don't know where to go it's not you're on the right path or not you haven't started your journey yet you haven't choose your path yet you haven't chosen your path yet you haven't you haven't started yet okay so the answer for this group is you're not on any path yet so the next step is for you to actually connect with yourself which if it means you have to disconnect with the world then do this you need to connect with yourself and choose your path yes bottom we have choose wisely seven of cups this is what i feel let's put some um tower cards to see For group one, what else do they need to know? How can they step on, step into this right path? How can they choose the right path? Any messages? Thank you, universe. Any messages? Okay. Okay. So bottom we have, yes, Nine of Swords. Um, we have Nine of Cups. We have two Nine here. The Hermit. And the Ace of Swords, simple as this. You just need to disconnect with the world. Do not engage with the outside world anymore. You need some space. You need some time for yourself. Okay? The answer is within. You cannot ask others because you cannot have the answer, the true answer that is the best for yourself, for you. Okay? You will get there. With the Ace of Swords, everything will be clear. I get nine days or nine weeks. But for most of you, I get nine days. Your life is heading towards some ending. 
okay? Because we do have two nines, which is suggesting that your life is heading towards an ending. And for your next step, just turn the gaze within. Just look into your heart. Do not listen to the outside world because they are not you. The answer is all within you. You have everything. And make sure you surround yourself with calm and peaceful energy because this is what you need. A retreat. Isolation. Hermit mode is what you need. You need peace and quiet. Okay? Interesting. We have the bottom nine as well. It feels like a lot of things are coming to an end. You are facing with a choice. It is not the time for you to even ask the question, are you on the right path or not? Because you are you haven't started everything. Okay. That is a question of your future, but right now, what's important is when you finish what you're trying to finish, okay, then what's next? Instead of listening to anybody, listen to yourself, what's next? You have the answer. What else do you need to know? What else do you need to know? Okay, when you choose... Because the, definitely you are facing some kind of choice. When you choose, make sure you choose what makes you feel truly happy. Nothing matters more than your own happiness. Than your own well-being. Okay? Fame, abundance, uh, reputation, recognition, respect from other people, meeting expectations of other people. Nothing matters more important than your own happiness. Okay, when you choose, make sure you feel honest with yourself. You feel I'm doing justice to myself. You feel I'm just making myself happy. Okay, so this is something you need to remember. But let's see what else do you need to know when you face this choice or anything you need to know right now. So bottom we have eight of pentacles. Maybe there is something you need to work on right now. So we have the empress. Yes, put your well-being and happiness in front of everything. Put your health and your happiness in front of everything. Okay, yes, queen of pentacles. Wow. Okay, so I'm seeing definitely some ending. Okay, with the ten of wands. You're under a lot of pressure and ask yourself... Where where does uh, this pressure come from? Does it come from you, yourself, or does it come from outside world? Some other people wants you to do something. You need to ask yourself this question. But I do see that after this ending, um, you will re realize what's important, what's the most important for you. With the Queen of Pentacles, I do feel... You have something that you really, you truly value, you truly treasure. And you will realize what's the most important thing in your life. And you will hold on to this. Um, and actually, the, the Queen of Pentacles is the exactly the same energy with the Empress. You don't lack of anything. Don't, don't worry about, oh, I'm not having this, I'm not having that. You have everything. You don't lack of anything. Also, I see great abundance in your future. As long as you let go of things that doesn't belong to you, you let go even some responsibilities. You let go some responsibilities or some expectations or some anything, some energies that, that doesn't belong to you. You're willing to let it go. And you will realize that you have everything. So maybe there's there are there is some sacrifice waiting for you to, uh, to to make in the future. You know because I I see you you probably have to let go of something. You have probably have to let. Uh, let go of something, sacrifice something because it's too much. But I feel you will get a clear mind. Of what you should do and after that um, I just see great happiness great abundance and 
also a boost of your physical health as well. Your physical health definitely will improve and your financial situation will improve as long as you don't desire too much. You don't hold on to too much. Mm, one last card. One last card. Thank you, universe. What, what do group one need to know? Okay. Wise leader, you are a beacon for others. You don't have to listen to anybody else. This is what I keep hearing. You can lead people. You shouldn't listen to anyone. You are actually the one who people should listen to. So don't question yourself. Don't doubt yourself. Okay? Always believe in yourself. Because you are a beacon. Not only for others. Sometimes it's hard. Sometimes it's exhausting to be a beacon for others. At least you need to be the beacon of yourself. Okay? So this is your reading group one. I hope you like it. I'll see you next time. Take care. Hello, group two. Welcome to your reading. So you have ten of hearts, which is ten of cups here. Um, I get a very happy energy. It feels like you will be connecting with a lot of people, or maybe a lot of social gatherings, a lot of fam family activities. But I just feel there is a flow of happiness, a flow of uh, you will be taken care of this feeling that you will be taken care of, you will, you will receive a lot of love, um, yeah, according to this card, I feel you are on the right path, but let's still pull one card to see, are you on the right path, thank you universe, uh, for giving us the messages for the greatest and highest good of all. Are you on the right path? Yes, prosperity begins. Bottom we have deception and envy. Hmm, interesting. This energy is a bit similar with group one. I feel you could be the future of group one. There is a message that is overlapping is do not listen to people around you. Do not listen to other people's opinions please stick to your own will please stick to your own opinion stick to your own dream stick to yourself do not let other people influence you if you can do this then definitely you are on the right path you are manifesting great great abundance okay i see something very very promising something very exciting a new beginning, a new start that can generate great wealth for you. Especially, you will feel you are laying some foundation for yourself. You will feel so secure. And you will feel so um, stable. Maybe this is what you've been waiting for. Longing for it for a long time. This stability, this security is something you always, always wanted. And this will give you the biggest happiness. Um, yes, you're on the right path, group one. But I don't know why maybe some people around you might be jealous subconsciously or consciously. It doesn't matter. But what I feel for you is do not mind other people. Just focus on your own thing. Focus is the key word for you. But are you on the right path? Can we know more about group two? Thank you, universe. Are you on the right path? Are you on the right path? Okay, so bottom we have, yeah, page of pentacles. All pentacles for you. So definitely you're doing something that is definitely right, okay? You may be, you're maybe working on a project. You're maybe started a, you maybe started a new job. Uh, you may be doing something new i don't know it just feels like you're doing the right thing okay yeah wow we have 10 of cups twice interesting okay so for group two interesting we do have 10 of cups twice which is it's which suggests a family and we have a king of cups here so i'm wondering if you are manifesting a marriage or a long-term connection a long-term relationship that you can actually build 
things from. It feels like you're not just only manifesting your own abundance, which is the Knight of Pentacles. You are slowly building up your future. But I feel like you are building up a home for yourself, which includes a uh, King of Cups, which includes, I feel it's a partner. It's someone you can build a family with. So for this group, if you're single, you're definitely not only manifesting this great abundance by your hard work. I feel a really like hardworking, dedicated energy from your group. But also you are manifesting someone, a partner that you can build this Ten of, uh, ten of Cups with. You're definitely on the right path, okay? There's no more confirmation you need. Um, and I think which which will surprise you is maybe you only focus, maybe you only think, okay, I'm just going to focus on my money. But actually, you are attracting a true love. You are attracting a life partner. You are attracting this person. You are attracting a family. For this group, I'm just getting you're building your future. That's the main message. Maybe you think, okay, I'm just going to work on my finance. I just want to work on my uh, work on my money. I just want this financial stability. I just want to build a future for myself. But what you don't know is actually you are attracting a beautiful family, a beautiful future with a beautiful partner. Um, you're heading towards a beautiful life, like everything you ever wanted. Happiness, love financial stability okay um what else do you need to know yes yes wow the cards can't be more beautiful wow yeah i'm seeing new love true love coming in your way group two maybe you are not paying attention you're just focusing on yourself but actually you know people actually have eyes on you you don't even know. You're just focusing on yourself. You're just this knight of pentacles. You're abundant. You're not. You're just minding your own business, trying to give yourself a better life. You're working really hard. Um, well done, because you deserve this. And I see people are keeping eye on you. People are looking at you. People are admiring admiring you from afar. Um, and. I just feel you attract a lot of attention, but definitely there's one person that wants a new beginning with you, with the Ace of Wands. There's definitely a person that wants to build something with you, to have this future with you, this new beginning. And also, I feel it's amazing we have two Aces. Maybe right now you don't feel like you feel motivated for sure, but I just feel maybe right now you don't feel so passionate but in the near future there's definitely something that you you will feel so passionate about not only you're motivated not only you're driven not only you're dedicated to this but also you will feel you will feel great excitement and passion and um just you'll feel bliss about something and i feel it's it's um new love i do feel it's a new love it's a new person um, yeah, oh my god, bottom we have 10 of pentacles. So yeah, you're heading towards like a wonderful, wonderful future. Um, let's pull one oracle card for you. For group two, what else do they need to know? Even though I don't think you need to know anything more. It's just perfect. Yes, ascending the mountain. Okay, keep going forward. This is all you need to know. You're definitely on the right path. Um, just keep going forward. Everything you want is sweating you there. Okay? Thank you so much, Group 2. It's a, such a delight to read your energy. And I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye.